Welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Karen Rice. I'm gonna be painting a simple step-by-step -step daisy watercolor painting. I'm only gonna use three colors, transparent brown oxide, but you could use burnt sienna, cadmium yellow, but you could use lemon yellow, and indigo, and you could use Payne's gray. For all the materials I'm using, please look in the description below, just click show more, or the down arrow on the right hand side, especially if you're using tablets. So I've drawn a simple outline drawing with an HB pencil and I'm mixing up some puddles of colour for my background washes. I'm using some of the yellow, I've used some of the brown oxide and it's just sort of creamy, not too watery washes, quite creamy and I'm mixing this with my size 10 black velvet brush it really holds a lot of paint, this brush, and you've got a, a really nice point with it as well. I'm using some of the indigo now with the yellow to make some lovely mid-greens. I'm making a really large puddle of yellow paint. It's some green have seeped into, but I'm painting the background wet on dry. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this, wet the background with clean water first of all, because it will give you some extra time but I'm just painting this wet on dry. Keep loading your brush with paint, really be generous and really work quite quickly. It's just one color at the moment, so don't panic and work your way around the daisy, in and out of the petals and be careful to try not to touch any of the white petals. So once you put your yellow background wash on, now you can put your lighter greens on. In watercolour we work light to dark. So I'm just dropping in now these mid-tones, wet in wet, using the size 10 black velvet brush, using the browns, the mid-greens, and I'm really careful now, as you can see, when I'm going in and out of the petals. I don't want any paint to get on them to spoil the white petals. Try to have fun with this. It's really nice to be very experimental, very creative even, using these paints wet in wet. There's only three colors and yet it creates such a variety of color. I love these brushes because they've got a lovely point and they hold so much paint. What I'm doing here is I'm just giving everything a little tilt to blend the colors. And I'm using the brush just to get rid of the excess paint. As you can see there now, all the colors have blended. The painting is damp now and I'm using creamy dark paint. That's the indigo with the cadmium yellow. It's really creamy and I'm using the size 10 brush and carefully painting around these petals now. As you can see, the white daisy is evolving without me even painting it. And now I'm painting a really creamy dark indigo with a touch of yellow at the top here. It will really bring that center of the daisy out. I'm just dropping a little bit of this color now to the right and left of the top of the painting, damp into damp. I'm sprinkling some sea salt now. The painting is damp. You can use table salt as well, and I'm gonna let that dry. And as you can see, wow, what an amazing result. The salt's created like that feel of wild flowers in the distance. And look how pale the background's gone. So don't be afraid to use dark in those first stages. I'm putting on just yellow by itself in the center of the daisy, and I'm using some of that brown oxide mixed with the yellow. It makes kind of an orangey color. Remember, if you don't have any brown oxide, you can use burnt sienna or even red. Paint this damp into wet. That means your paint is creamier than the wet surface of your painting. I'm using a size six pointed round brush here. I've got a little bit more control, but it still holds lots and lots of paint. I'm dropping in some of that warmer tones on the top of the center of the daisy. I'm using this same color now, the yellow and the brown, and I'm mixing it slightly creamier color. I'm dropping it in now to the edges of the center where it meets the petals, just to build up a little bit of stronger tones so it really separates that center from the petals and it makes it look more 3D. And I'm putting a little bit now of details on the center at the top, those warm colors, it gives it that extra bit of detail and it really brings it to life. I'm using indigo now, 
very watered down just to paint some little sort of darker shades underneath the petals just to give them some form. I'm using a damp brush now just to blend away and I'm going to continue now using this same technique with all the petals. some of the stem and the leaves it's a creamy dark and just I'm just flicking that dark on there with a small size 6 brush just to give that little bit more detail I'm using that same color the indigo and the yellow just to paint a few little more dark accents at the end of the center where it reaches the petals and a few more little dots of the brown with a mix of yellow on the edge this is wet on dry to give that little bit more texture to the daisy I've tried to keep everything really nice and simple I've used a little bit more of the indigo and the yellow here to create some darks on the leaves and then softening and blending with a damp brush what I'm doing now is I'm painting a second layer on the petals building up the darks I've allowed the painting to dry. I've actually given it a blow dry. I'm still using the same color, the indigo, and just layering the basically the same color over the top, but it just builds that dark. Take your time with this. It's actually quite a nice thing to do. It's quite relaxing. And once you've finished putting your darks on your petals, you can put a few more dark accents using the indigo and the brown just at the top of the petals where it reaches the center. It really pops that center out. As you know, I love to finish off a painting with a spatter. I've just got a watery puddle of the cadmium yellow and I'm using my size six round brush and I'm spattering in the background. I don't mind if it gets a little bit on the daisy. It just creates a little bit of texture and sparkle. I've removed the framing tape and I think I'll leave it there for now. I'm quite pleased with this little painting. It's nice and simple. I really hope you've learned something from it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get updates of my latest videos. If you would like to see longer, more informative videos, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? Details about this are in the description below. Please don't hesitate to ask me any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.